One of the changes I've made recently is upgrading to the latest version of Libre Pilot. And for those of you who aren't familiar, originally it was an open source development called Open Pilot. That kind of imploded a bit over 12 months ago. And a number of the people involved kind of re-released it with a few improvements as Libre Pilot 15.09. And they've just put out this, this major release now. So I've just taken the opportunity to install this on my CC3D. And I have to say, I'm really liking it so far. It's clear that they've made a number of bug fixes um, in the system. And they've also introduced some um, new features. Um, one of the new features, uh, we go through the tabs here on the input tab, and they've uh, put this section in, which is a complete new um, sort of tab, um, fail-safe settings, so that if, if the connection between the receiver and the CC3D is lost, you can specify, I want the throttle off, basically my roll and pitch servos are at mid uh, mid position, so no servo movement, and I want the tail uh, tail motor to be um, switched right off as well, so the the bird can just kind of drop drop to the ground. So new, complete new new feature, um, but there's there's clear that there's a number of little bits and pieces that have changed. And one thing that I've personally benefited from is on the stabilization um, section. So we've got our I, I use the you've got the the basic view here. I like to use the the advanced view. Um, so I'm in Bank 1 settings on here as well at currently, so you can see a whole lot of settings, I won't go into them, into them now, but basically we've got roll angles and rates, um, the PIDs um, for, for tuning, so that's the, the inner loop stuff, and then the outer loop stuff on here, so that's my Bank 1, um, then Bank 2, um, which probably without going through the numbers, th these are all a little bit different. And, um, and bank bank three, so it allows you to have three different um, setups. And what I'd found previously with 1509 was I had this really quirky thing where I could make these numbers exactly the same on on some of the different banks, but the helicopter would fly differently. Um, so it was it was pretty annoying because you wanted that consistency. Now with 1609, it, it it all seems to be working really nicely. So if I put the same numbers in here. Um, for the different banks, then I get the same response, which is which is a great step forward. Yeah, all in all, very very happy with it. So one of the other things which I've um, been playing around with, and which has been an improvement with 16.09, is if we go into the um, expert tab and stabilization, we've got the section here gyro noise filtering, and if when I if I hover the cursor over there. You know, an effective vibrations filter for the gyro, but it's got this default um, 0.005 to maximum 0.020. So I don't remember seeing that sort of number range being given previously, and that's really handy because you know you come in here and you're looking at these numbers, and you've got a 0.008 here, and you've got a 0.05 here, and then a 0.0010 there, and you're just like what the hell do all these numbers mean? You know, like it's really confusing when you first get into it. So having that extra bit of information is, is actually, you know, really handy that it gives you a bit of a guideline as to, you know, what might be a mid-range setting and, and what the extremes might be. So I've used that to change the gyro noise filtering. Previously I'd only been running about 0.003, so basically, you know, it's such a low setting that it really wasn't doing anything. And what that means is that it will just help um, sort of filter out um, some of the things where the where the gyro is, is seeing a vibration and and and, and interpreting it as movement. Um, so I, I, this has been a key part of getting rid of my roll oscillations. Has been playing with the, the numbers on that. The other one is on the attitude tab. Now this is the tab where you it kind of defines. Um, how you, what the level of the board is. But there's also a thing here for the accelerometer filtering. <clears throat> and again, they've added in a um, useful thing, so sort of saying, look, you know, range between zero and, you know, 0.2, good starting value, 0.05 to 0 0.10. So they've added some useful information, and I've actually increased this um, from what it was, I can't even remember what it was previously, it might have been on, uh, you know, 0.05 or something. But by increasing this, it's um, again improved the way that the helicopter is, is flying. So I do have a bit of a tail issue going on at the moment, so if I give that a throttle pump, 
it's uh, there's something kind of strange. It was better and then yeah, spinning. So had been better. So I'm not sure whether it's ESC or whether it's on the flight controller.